I'm Parlin, and I've died twice. I know what you're probably thinking. What? No. Seriously? Yes, it's true. I have. The first time was when I was nine days old. My heart stopped, and I stopped breathing. And the second time was when I was six months old, during a catheterization, when they went from the right side of my chest to the left side, and my heart stopped and I stopped breathing. Also, in an earlier catheterization, where they went through my leg like they normally do, the main artery in my right leg collapsed and the smaller arteries grew around it. So that's why I'm so short and why when I was six months old, they went through my chest instead of through my leg. And now you're probably wondering, why did this happen and why did I even need catheterizations? It's because I was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome, which means that I have half a heart. I only have one atrium and one ventricle. The left side of my heart never developed, so I only have the right side. And I have had three open heart surgeries. The first surgery was when I was two weeks old. I've also had four eye surgeries, because in the first surgery, they moved the wrong muscle and I had to do three other surgeries to fix it, which resulted in me needing glasses and not having stereo vision, which means that I can't see one thing with both eyes at the same time, but I can see two different things with each eye at the same time. For example, right now, I'm looking at my closet door with my left eye and my bedroom door with my right eye at the same time. Also, I have keloids on my scar, which is a skin disease that some people get on permanent scars. And the keloids are starting to get really bad and hurting a lot. So I chose to have an eighth surgery. Last year, I had a surgery and three days of radiation to try to get rid of my keloids. As you can see, the surgery didn't totally work because I still have keloids, but my scar looks a lot better than it did when I was younger. I also basically don't have an immune system, so I get immunoglobulins subcutaneously every two weeks. Immunoglobulins is the medicine I get so that my immune system works like a normal person's immune system, and subcutaneously means that I get it at home every two weeks instead of at the hospital once a month. And I have a rare chromosomal anomaly called Jacobson syndrome, which means that 35% of the tail of my chromosome 11 are missing, which in hindsight isn't a lot because 35 genes out of 20,000 genes in the tail isn't that much, but Jacobson syndrome is why I have all of my other medical conditions and why I have some cognitive issues. So that's me, a girl who has had eight surgeries, three days of radiation, has half a heart, basically doesn't have an immune system, has a rare chromosomal anomaly, which has caused all of her problems, only uses her right eye all the time, and has died twice.